Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. As you can tell from this chart, there are a lot of differing characteristics between slow twitch muscle fibers and fast twitch muscle fibers. But I want to simplify it for you so that every single part of this falls into place. It should be very, very simple to understand these key differences. First of all, slow twitch fibers are slow. Yeah, and since they're slow, they're good for slow and steady activities, like endurance, marathon running, and stamina activities. In comparison, fast twitch fibers are fast. They're good for lifting weights or sprinting, and thus they're good for sprinters, right? These first three items should make perfect sense for you. This next one, though, is something you may not have learned very much about. Why would it make sense that slow twitch fibers primarily rely on aerobic respiration, whereas fast twitch fibers primarily rely on anaerobic respiration? Well, something you should know is that the entire process of aerobic respiration, which entails glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain to produce energy, it's a primarily a pretty slow process, right? Think about it, there's a lot of different steps that are involved, so it's decently slow, but it produces a lot of energy. It produces about 38 ATP. In comparison, anaerobic respiration using just glycolysis is very fast because there's a lot less steps to go through, but it only produces two ATP. So for this reason, aerobic respiration is great for long endurance events because it produces a lot more energy overall. Whereas for sprinters, they want their energy quick, and so they'd prefer to rely on just glycolysis. Even though it only gives them two ATP per pop, it's very, very fast, so they get energy a lot quicker. So this, this should hopefully make sense for you as well. And because slow twitch fibers primarily rely on aerobic respiration, they're gonna need a lot more oxygen. For this reason, they're gonna need more blood vessels to carry oxygen to them. And in a similar fashion, Fast twitch fibers don't need as many blood vessels, so you might as well get them out of the muscle to make way for more muscle fibers. And as we already talked about, for slow twitch fibers, the energy release will be great, but it will be very slow, whereas fast twitch fibers, they release a very little amount of energy, but it does happen very quickly. And moving right along, more mitochondria and slow twitch fibers, why would that be the case? Well, we need to do more electron transport chain, right? Therefore, we're gonna want more mitochondria around. And might as well get those mitochondria out of the muscle if we're gonna focus primarily on anaerobic respiration in the fast twitch fibers. And finally, myoglobin, it's the protein that carries oxygen throughout the muscle. And if you need oxygen for aerobic respiration, you're probably gonna to wanna to have a lot of myoglobin. And in a similar way, fast twitch fibers don't really need very much myoglobin. And one more thing you should know is that fast twitch fibers are white slow twitch fibers are red. And this should also make perfect sense. Think about the blood. It's red. Therefore, if you have more blood vessels in your muscles, your muscles are gonna to appear to be red. That's why slow twitch fibers are gonna look more red, whereas fast twitch fibers, which don't have very many blood vessels, will look white. After digesting that table, I think you should have no trouble answering this question. Are type one muscle fibers red in color? Yes because they have a lot of blood vessels, right? Are they slower? Yes, and they mainly rely on aerobic respiration. Therefore, the answer here is answer choice D. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10 minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.